Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion Binocular Astronomy Field Guide. Uh, we've come out with a bunch of information that's handy to have if you have a pair of binoculars anywhere from something really small all the way up to a giant 15 by 70, 20, 80, 25 by 100, something really big. Uh, it gives you information on the night sky. You've got uh, moon maps inside. Uh, there's uh, lunar and solar eclipses through 2020. I'm just reading here because there's a lot of details that I'm going to forget. Uh, planetary conjunctions. And then there are seasonal star charts uh, for each uh, season, uh, looking southern, southernly and then looking northernly as well. So let me open it up and let's uh, take a closer look. All right, so first of all, on this side, uh, you've got uh, some of the more famous craters identified uh, with numbers so you can uh, figure out exactly which crater it is, what the name is. And um, you'd be surprised what you can see with a pair of binoculars. Um, even a 10 by 50 can identify some of these larger uh, craters and mare uh, on the uh, surface of the moon. On the other side here, we've got details on phases of the moon, uh, the new moon, first quarter, uh, full moon, and last quarter, all the way through 2020. Lunar eclipses, uh, little tips on observing the moon there. Over here, tips on using binoculars for astronomy, and uh, these are lunar and planetary conjunctions. Uh, over here, observing the planets with binoculars and what you can actually see. Now, you're not going to see too much surface detail on planets with a pair of binoculars, even the, the high power ones. But if you looked at Jupiter, you can actually see the four moons uh, orbiting around um, the main planet itself, and it always changes position. So night to night, even hour to hour, uh, you'll see the, the moons uh, change in relation to the, the planet itself. Uh, here there's a little uh, map of the Milky Way, some of the brighter things in the, uh, this is the southern uh, Sagittarius area. There's lots of bright deep sky objects down there, the lagoon, uh, star clusters, uh, what else, uh, M22, uh, M54, uh, lots of objects that are available to a pair of binoculars. Uh, like I said, it's, it's kind of surprising. You don't need a really big telescope to see some of these uh, large objects. If I open it up the other direction, here are the seasonal star charts. And uh, let's see, it starts southern hemisphere, seasonal sky, and northern hemisphere upside down this way. So wherever you are, you're going to be able to use this to kind of learn your way around and find some of the constellations and uh, identify some of the brighter objects. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Orion uh, Binocular Astronomy Field Guide. Thank you very much. Clear skies.